Hey what's up guys, it's Charles here from Technological and in this video I'm going to be showing you guys a quick look at Jelly Bean on the T-Mobile G2X. Now this is not going to be a tutorial on how to get it. Uh, eventually I will have a video on that so if you want to go ahead and subscribe so you can see that video I'd appreciate it. Um, but in this video I'm just going to be giving you guys an overview of how it is. Now this uh, is a ROM so you your phone will need to be rooted and this is the Cyanogen mod. 10. So there are some flaws to it since it is an alpha. Uh, Project Butter, Video Playback, Camcorder, and Hardware Acceleration currently do not work, but this is as of uh, October 24th, 2012. So by the time you're watching this, possibly these things could be fixed. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to show you guys more on that in a little bit. But first, I'm going to be showing you guys that this is actually Jelly Bean 4.1.1 and not just a skin. Uh, so here you can see right there the Android version is 4.1.1 and the model number is the LG P999 which is the LG G2X or T-Mobile G2X. Now I'm just going to show you guys the Cyanogen version. Now it does say 9.9.9 .9 but it is actually Cyanogen Mod 10. Uh, I might just say that because it's an alpha. Uh, and next I'm just going to show you the camcorder and how it does not work. Uh, and some of the other things do work and the reason why I'm showing you these things is just so that you know that whether they do work or not so as you can see it closes instantly as you try to record uh, now I'm going to show you actually videos do work it's just the uh, video playback that's built into the phone and I'm just failing trying to get this to go in landscape but here it is um, here's just a video it does work in YouTube and other apps it's just the uh, video player that is on your phone so if you want to watch a video on your SD card then that most likely will not work uh, right now but you like I said you may be watching this in the future now I'm going to be showing you guys the hardware acceleration which is basically the graphics card or the GPU um, and it, that does not really mean anything basically what it means is that um, the graphics aren't at a, their fullest uh, so you can see that you can still play uh, most apps uh, without flaw or lag now occasionally this game which is bike race lags a little bit when I play it now a little bit more than it used to but it's really nothing major it doesn't affect the gameplay at all but other apps like HD apps like Fruit Ninja HD will just freeze like you see on the screen which kinda sucks but the great thing is that there are alternatives to Fruit Ninja like the original one rather than Fruit Ninja HD and that one works very well as you can see on the screen no lagging or anything so I'm just gonna give you guys a quick example uh, it did actually lag a little bit in the beginning but throughout the game it doesn't really do that for me at all as you can see so I'm just gonna let you guys look at this for a couple more seconds alright so now I'm just gonna show you guys how project butter does not work but that does not mean that this phone is any choppy or unstable or anything you can see that it moves around quickly it lagged a little bit there but that's not very often and that kinda happens with a lot of Android phones uh, so you can just see I'm opening up a few apps scrolling through the screen and doing things like that so I'm just gonna open up advanced task killer to show you how long it takes to load and you see it closes pretty fast after that it's just how smooth it is to uh, take off multitasking scroll through and just remove the apps Alright, so after this I'm going to show you a few features that come with Jelly Bean when you actually bring it onto your G2X. Uh, so, like when you have widgets or apps, the apps actually do move for you, similar to like how they do on iOS, which is really nice. Now I'm just going to show you notifications. You can expand them with two fingers or make them smaller with two and one will not work. And you can also slide to remove. And after this clip I'm going to show you an example of Google, uh, how it's kind of similar to Siri now. What is the square root of 81? Square root 81 is 9. Who do the Bears play this week? The Bears beat the Lions 13 to 7. They are playing the Panthers on Sunday at 12 p.m. How tall is Derrick Rose? Derrick Rose is 6 feet 3 inches tall. Tell me a joke. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you did, I'd appreciate it if you subscribed so you can see the video on how to do this that I will be coming out with soon. I also appreciate it if you liked the video. And overall, I think this was a really good ROM and it's still in the alpha, so I definitely think it does have potential. And I can't wait to see what more comes from it when Project Butter and uh, video 
acceleration do come to it. Thanks for watching, guys, and subscribe.